Oh, you guys! <laughs> what are you guys doing here? See, I, I got a question for you. Have you ever felt like you were being watched? Or ended up in like an eerie place that just kind of gave you chills? <sighs> I know I have. Say, speaking of chills, in today's video, guys, I thought we'd reminisce a bit in the past and take a look at some of the creepiest stories that I ever told you guys. But be sure to stay tuned and watch the entire video just in case there is a story in there you just happened to miss. Well, while you guys do that, I'm going to try and find my way out of this forest, so enjoy the video. Hello everybody, what's up? It's me, the Fear Razor, and here today I'm with my good pal Jordan Soito! Woo! Hello everybody! A, a, round, of, a round of applause. Oh, thank you so much. I'm not clapping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <what the> oh <laughs> God! <laughs> Why did I agree to this? <clears throat> I guess I'll start off first. So, uh, okay, so there was a time, right, that um, my my house phone number had gotten out to the public. Um, oh crap! It had gotten out to some fans, and uh, the fans, they um, they actually they they started calling the house a lot, right? Um, oh. And they would call the house like 3 in the morning, like 3 a.m. And it was getting really creepy, too, because they weren't talking, right? So they would just, <laughs> you, you would just hear a phone call. Like, somebody would just call the house, and then all you'd hear is... <sighs> oh, my God. Who and I'm did like, that? I'm like, uh, uh, hello, hello? And then, you know, they'd hang up, um, and it scared the crap out of me, because I'm like, yeah, oh, God. Let's hear your story, Jordan. Gosh darn, you want to hear something creepy? Yeah. I used to be in a band quite quite a few years back actually. It, it it was it was like a normal night. We um we finished up our set, we went home, and um I just had the guys over at my house and we were just kinda hanging out after the show. Um as we usually do. Yeah. And anyways, so this one night, um we were all on Facebook just checking out the band profile and stuff, you know, replying to comments and stuff, and there was this one comment that was that said something along the lines of have you checked outside your house oh, and, what? Uh, we built up the courage to go check it out and there was a package at the front door are you serious there yeah I, so I opened the package and inside the package was a note um, I, I lifted up the note and um, underneath the note was a vial of blood a freaking vial of blood. A and vial it, of blood? She had written on the note that she wanted us to yell out um, to sacrifice it to whatever, like the freaking demon god Cthulhu or something. Why, why did I know you were going to say Cthulhu? Why did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> hey, you man. Got, like, if, if Ritual sacrifices for Cthulhu <laughs> right here, guys. All right, so what had happened was that I had slept over to a friend of mine's house back when I was a kid. Essentially, it was his birthday, and he had a sleepover, and we were about maybe like three or four of us were invited. He lived up the road from me, so that was always cool. So, you know, we spent the night downstairs in the basement. We were watching, uh, we were watching animes, we were watching Robot Chicken. There was a point in the night where some of the guys were humping the floor in their sleeping bags. I'm not even gonna get into that. That was weird. Okay, I don't know if the 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 the, <laughs> the puberty was hitting some of them and they were just getting weird. But it was it was things were getting really strange. I'm just gonna say that it was a sausage fest. Then again, we were ten. So <laughs> anyway, um, but you know, eventually, you know, the night went on. We played some games. And then, you know, we tried to go to sleep. And we were all down in the basement in our own sleeping bags trying to sleep. So I remember I had gone up to the washroom, you know, I did my, I did my business, and then, you know, I left. But I could hear, as I was going to walk downstairs, I could hear noises coming from the kitchen. It sounded like somebody was, I don't know what they were doing. It, it sounded like a, a bit of rustling around was going on in the kitchen. I was just listening for a second, and I was like, who? Who the hell is that? 
And, you know, then I went downstairs, and I didn't really think nothing of it. And then I was just kind of like, and then as I was lying down, it got me thinking again. I'm like, everybody's down here. Who the hell is upstairs? Because I thought it was my uh, friend, the one who was living at the house. I thought he was getting something. But no, he was, he was in a sleeping bag, and so was everybody else. And there was nobody home. Anyways, I remember I actually got really weirded out because I was lying down and then I thought about it. And then, you know, I woke my friend up and I was like, somebody's in the kitchen. Like, I heard noises in the kitchen. Your mom is not home. Anyway, we both went upstairs and there ended up being nobody upstairs after. So that was definitely a really creepy experience. And it is definitely one that I will not forget anytime soon. Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Fear, here today bringing you another scary story. It's not as scary as last one, actually. No, no, it is pretty freaky. Yeah, this takes place at my trailer. I have a lot of trailer stories, but this one is pretty freaky. So, it had happened a good few years ago. It had happened probably about eight years ago, okay? And the thing about my trailer is that, you know, a lot of the times there's a lot of kids there. And, you know, a lot of the time we used to just get together and we would just play games. So, I guess you could say this was another kind of episode where I had been playing, like, hide-and-seek. Actually, I had been playing hide-and-seek with, uh, a bunch of friends. So, what had happened, alright? Okay, and this is where, okay, things get so out of, like, go so freaking supernatural. Like, it was the perfect, it was the perfect timing. So perfect that I just got a voice crack while I said that. So, one night, we were playing hide-and-seek in the dark. And I had been, I had been tagged, okay? I was tagged, I was it. So it was about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I was a 12 year old little boy. And <clears throat> there was a lot of other little kids running around as well. So, you know, my trailer park's pretty big and I went looking for them. Now, the scary thing is there's a lot of trees around the trailer, okay? Like a woods, forest. And a few of these kids had actually gone into the forest, and I had to go find them. So what was really freaky about this, okay, starting off, was that when I looked at the moon, it was red. We had a red moon that night. The moon had been bright red. It's like a, I don't know if it's a blood moon or just a red moon. But um, me, of course, not knowing that the moon could do that, freaked the hell out of me because I was like, what the f- what's going on with the moon? Are we gonna die? Um, and you know, I was in the middle of a game where I was it, and I literally was freaking out because the moon was freaking red! I'm like, it's not supposed to be that color! What the f- what is that? And it was extremely terrifying. So, you know, I was kind of getting really sketchy, and I, you know, I still continued to play the game, but you know, I, I was just like, what the hell is going on? So, um, I had gotten to the woods, okay, looking for these people. I remember as I walk in the woods, there was this man there, okay? And the, this man was like, in an, I went on a, like a path in the woods to look for these people. And the man looked at me, and he, I didn't even know he was there, and the man's like, you're still having trouble finding your friends? And I ran so fast. Oh my god. I ran so fast. I was so scared. I I freaked out immediately. Like what how did he how did he know I was looking for my friends? And the thing is, I hadn't been calling out for the names. It's it's it, you know, tag or whatever. I'm not gonna be like, yo, Joe, where are you at, man? <laughs> I was I was a little kid in the deep woods, and he said that to me. And the thing is. This man was dressed up in, like, black, and he was wearing, a, like, a, a black fedora or some weird crap. It was freaking weird, guys. I don't know if I was gonna get, like, killed or something, but that's what happened. That literally happened. A combination of the Blood Moon and this freaky-ass guy, okay, who was most likely a vampire asks me about my friends, to which he shouldn't have known about, or because how could he, unless he was watching me. 
So it was really freaky. That was my scary story. I hope you all enjoyed this scary story. But yeah, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and um, don't play tag in the woods in the middle of the night while there's a blood moon. Okay, bye. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the Scare Razor. <laughs> okay, bad joke. And today, I'm gonna be telling you guys another scary story. A scary story involving murder. So, guys, this scary story is taking is gonna take place four years ago. Now, the reason why I can remember this so well is because at the time, I had just met my girlfriend, and uh, right after I met her, I ended up having to go to Florida, which, you know, kind of sucked. But anyways, what had happened, all right, was, um, you know, I was there for 12 days, and, you know, every day or two, I'd call her while I was down there, and we talked, and, you know, oh, we love you, we love you, I miss you, <laughs> you know, like the, the regular uh, new couples kind of thing, I guess. We had a house in, like, a, a residential area, um, you know, like, uh, you can rent a house in, like, um, a gated community, that's the word I'm looking for. So, we weren't in, like, a hotel or anything down in Florida. We had, like, our own house. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I would go... We had a garage, okay? There was, like, a garage in in this house. And every night I'd go in there to, you know, talk to my girlfriend because, um... I didn't really want to talk to her in front of my family because that's just freaking awkward. So, the last night before we were leaving, okay? I was talking to my girlfriend, okay? And this is when things were happening. This is when things went downtown. So, we were chatting, you know, I was really excited to head back home because, you know, I, I missed her, I wanted to see her really bad. So as I was talking to her, okay, I heard screaming. I, um, I heard screaming while I was in the garage, which kind of freaked me out, but I kind of looked past it because it was a short scream. So I was like, alright, that's freaky, but alright, cool. So, you know, I spoke to her again for a few minutes, and then I heard screaming again. Now, what was strange about this was that it happened twice, but what happened right after it was what freaked me out completely. So, after she screamed, I had heard gunshots, okay? I heard gunshots outside, like across the street from me. So, bear in mind, I was in this garage. The garage was shut, it was nighttime, so I didn't see anything, I was just hearing this. But I, like, I, I ducked, I went for cover, I was like... Oh my god, there's, there's gunshots, like, what's going on outside? And it was freaking me out. And, you know, I was freaking out while I was talking to her. She was freaking out. She's like, what's up to go? Like, you know, it's, it's freaky. You hear gunshots screaming? Usually a bad combination. I was just like, oh my god. And then, you know, it kind of stopped. It, it died down. And I got up. And then I could faintly hear, like, something in the corner. What I had heard was, uh, there was a PlayStation 2, right? PlayStation 2... Um, was on and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was in and the game had been left on and you know I uh, I was like okay so this was from the game this is from Grand Theft Auto I, I guess just shit was happening in the game and I it freaked me out and, that, and that's what I, I feel like that's why I was able to sleep that night because the next morning when and like I said this was the last night we were there the last morning we got up and gotten ready and, uh, when we put our, uh, when we put our luggage, you know, in the car, I looked across the road, and there were a bunch of cops with caution tape around the house, across the street from us, and all I could remember was how, it was when, I should say, when I looked back as we were driving away at that house, and I, I found out later that it was a murder! Yeah, so that was cool. Um, great time in Florida. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Fear, here today bringing you something that, um, is probably the scariest, most paranormal thing that has ever happened in my life. I've been living in this house about 10 years now. This happened probably three to four years into while we were living in the house. So one day I went into, uh, I looked under my mom's bed and I remember I found a Ouija board. 
Now, I don't know if you know what a Ouija board is, but it's usually bad news when it comes to ghosts, okay? And I remember I brought it to my parents. I'm like, what is this? Because I didn't really know what it was. My mom is really superstitious, so she was like, put that away right now. Like, I don't even know why she had it if she didn't want it. One day, one night, I should say, me, my dad, and my two brothers, we went down in the kitchen late at night, and, you know, we decided to screw around with this Ouija board. We're like, okay, let's see what it's like, and, you know... We did, we tried it. You wanna hear the crazy part? Nothing happened. And turns out my dad was just moving it. Like I could feel him pushing it a bit. I'm just like, you suck. That night, okay, I woke up to the sound of our alarm, our fire alarm, okay, in our house. And this is and this is a hundred percent true. I'm not bullshitting or anything. The fire alarm had went off in our house. And it woke me up, it was about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I got up, I was the first one to wake up. And I remember when I went out into the hall, the lights were flickering on and off. And I was really sketching out. And I totally forgot about the Ouija board, by the way. I totally forgot about all that shit, so I just thought there was something crazy going on. The lights were flickering on and off, and I woke my- I woke up my, uh, my family. And I remember, um... <laughs> We'd all gone downstairs, and the lights just kept going on and off, on and off. And the fans were on, everything. It's like all of our house appliances were turned on, and the lights were flickering on and off. And it did this for like about 20 minutes. And then the power just shut off. The power to our entire house just died. But ever since that night, I have never touched a Ouija board again. Hey guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying me throwing myself in more of these animations. I think it's fun, it's different, and uh, animations are a big part of this channel and I wanna keep that alive. And I figured why not just start doing something new and throw myself in there. So guys, I hope you are enjoying all of this and uh, stay tuned for more great animations and content in general on this channel. And uh, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out some more videos. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I'm still lost in a forest, by the way. I gotta go.